Deliverance presents internationally known evangelist Reverend Jim Whittington. Reverend Whittington has ministered for over 50 years around the world to tens of thousands, and he can help you. Turn the volume a little louder and enjoy this telecast. The next three minutes could change your life forever. Reverend Whittington has a free gift he's going to send to you at the end of this service on today. Do you need a healing? Do you need a miracle? Do you need a financial breakthrough? Let's go into the service with Reverend Jim Whittington. Your attention, please. This is Jim Whittington, your radio and television pastor. And I'm holding in my hand a faith point of contact that has changed the life of thousands of people. The Lord spoke to me a long time ago and told me to write the name of the people on an anointed St. Paul prayer handkerchief like I've written my name on this one and to send it to the people with Bible instructions how to use it. I've helped so many and I, the testimonies come in daily from people that are receiving miracles, healing in their body, changes in their life. Their loved ones that's been on drugs is being delivered and, and financial blessings. Uh, one lady just called this week and said, and said I, I, since I got in touch with this ministry, everything is so much better in my life. Would you like to have a testimony like that? Well, you can by just picking up the phone and calling me right now and I will write your name. I personally will write your name on a prayer handkerchief, a St. Paul prayer handkerchief, and I'll send it to you with Bible instructions how to use it. This can be the turning point in your life. This can be what you've been waiting for. The devil's been throwing everything he could at you and you, you just hadn't been happy here lately and it feels like that everything is going backwards or wrong. Well, God can turn things around for you and that's the reason you tuned into this telecast today. God wants me to help you. Pick up the telephone and call me right now and I will write your name on a St. Paul prayer handkerchief and send it to you free of charge with Bible instructions how to use it. All you have to do is call 404-907-3080. The operators are waiting for your call right now. So call and when you call, speak plainly and slowly to make sure that we get your name and address correctly because we want to help you. We've helped tens of thousands around the world and we want to help you. If you call within the next 15 minutes, I'm going to send you a copy of the CD that everybody's talking about. I made it. I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. I've been through suffering and pain, but I made it. I've been talked about. I've been criticized. Have you ever been talked about? Has anybody ever told a lie on you? But you made it. It's like when uh, Saul would be tormented by an evil spirit. He would call little David in there and say, David, bring your harp and play some music. And when David started playing that anointed music on that harp, it drove the devil out of the room and the tormenting spirit left King Saul. When you play this in your house, if there's an evil spirit in your house, it's going to drive the evil spirit out and peace is going to be present in your house. I can't wait for you to get this. I made it. People are shouting and talking about this. Everybody I've sent it to is just really enjoying it. You can be the next one. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. I've been preaching this gospel for over 50 years. I have helped tens of thousands around the world, and I can help you. We'll become prayer partners. The Bible said one can put a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight. When you and I join together, we're ten times stronger. I can help you. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. Or you can write to me and request your prayer handkerchief and your CD. And when you write to me, all the mailing address you need is Jim Whittington, Post Office Box 2300. That's Post Office Box 2300, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28402. I'm waiting to hear from you. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. Don't let this opportunity pass. Call me now, okay? Time for some of you folks in this congregation today to put your foot down and say, Now let me alone, devil. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you. God is going to put you under my foot. You're going to be under my foot. 
you, 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 you might bruise my heel, but I'm going to bruise your head. Somebody ought to stomp your foot and say, Devil, I've had enough of you. Devil, I'm tired of what you've been doing to me. Devil, get off of my back. Devil, let my family alone. Devil, get, quit messing with my money. Somebody say hallelujah. The Bible said, resist. When you resist somebody, you don't look at them and say, I, I wish you would let me alone. When you resist them, you don't say, I hope uh, you'll, you'll treat me better. You say, get out of here. Resist the devil. And the Bible said, when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Somebody say, hallelujah. Resist him. I wish somebody would give the devil a shove and say, I'm resisting you. I resist you. I'm tired of what you've been doing to my family. I'm tired of what you've been doing to me. I'm tired. I resist him in the name of Jesus. I resist. said resist the devil and he will flee from you draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh unto thee Woo, I feel something in this place today I, I, I heard brother Pusey say this is going to be a special service something about this service today is special Maybe God kept some people away because he's wanting to do something special for you and you. And this is your day. This is your hour. This is your time. This is your moment. This is your deliverance. This is your victory. Somebody clap, clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Don't you look over at somebody and say, sometimes I get discouraged. Sometimes I think my work is in vain. But I got something to tell you. I'm never alone. No, never alone. He's always by my side. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the world. Somebody ought to hear that and give God some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Never alone, never alone, never alone. I'm never alone. Somebody say hallelujah. didn't move fast as a man wanted me to move he started cursing me then he jumped out of his car and went in the trunk of his car and grabbed a machete and headed toward me with it but a man stepped in front of him because I'm never alone never alone I never backed up one inch. I know my Redeemer lives and that he will stand on the earth in the last day. Somebody say hallelujah. I know I am never, 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 never alone. Somebody say hallelujah. 
I have a host of angels around about me. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that love and fear God. Somebody ought to get on your feet and tell God to love him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Never alone, never alone, no, never alone, no, never alone. I have a friend, I have a friend, Delroy, I have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. When I can't find my family, when I need somebody to talk to and they don't have time to listen. When I need some change in my pocket and everybody shut up their bowels of compassion against me. Uh, I have a friend. I have a friend. His name is not Obama. His name is not Bruce Golden. His name is not Katie Knight. <laughs> His name is Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody ought to praise him. I feel God in this place. Somebody ought to praise him. Surely, surely, goodness, and mercy shall follow me. Where are you, goodness? Where are you, mercy? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I feel like preaching a while. Somebody shout hallelujah. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Somebody praise him. Get up and praise him, somebody. Get up and praise him. I want to be there when that trumpet sounds. I want to be there when that last trumpet sounds. I want to hear him say, well done. Well done. Good and faithful servant. You've been faithful. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many things. Enter in. Enter in. Enter in. Somebody say enter in. And in that land, every invalid will be an athlete. And in that land, every home will be a mansion. And in that land, every meal will be a banquet. And in that land, everybody will be somebody. There'll be no wars, there'll be no strife. There'll be no disease, there'll be no cancer, no high blood pressure, no arthritis, no glaucoma, no sickle cell anemia. There'll be no AIDS in that land. There'll be no trouble, there'll be no strife. There'll be no tears to dim your eyes. Somebody say amen. In that land, in that land, everybody, Every day will be Sunday. Somebody say hallelujah. And the sun will never go down. I wish somebody clap your hands and praise God. Clap your hands and praise. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know and he's just the same as his lovely name and that's 
the reason why I love him so. For Jesus is the sweetest name I know. I want to hear everybody say it. Come on. When I attend a funeral like I did your husband's the other day, sometimes I think about what my funeral might be like. What song would I like for them to sing? Or what, what speaker would I like to speak? But I will tell you this. If you happen to be in charge, you, you don't have to talk about me flying to Jamaica and back a hundred times. You, you don't have to tell them that I was thrown in prison for something I didn't do, but I endured the hardness. You, you don't have to talk about the bus wreck that almost killed me in Pennsylvania and the car wreck that almost killed me in North Carolina. And you don't have to tell them about the man that shot at me in Tazewell, Tennessee. And you don't have to tell them that my friends deserted me and when I was down and needed a friend I couldn't find one the only one was Jesus but if you happen to speak at my funeral don't talk about the television I was on and don't talk about this I want you to just get up and say he loved people he loved people he loved people he fed the hungry he clothed the naked. He visited the sick. He went into the prison. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, I want you to tell him. He loved God's people. And for 50 years, he went around doing nothing but loving God's people. Somebody say hallelujah. He didn't send me here to condemn you. He didn't send me here to put you down. He didn't send me here to threaten you with hell. He sent me to tell you he loves you for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Somebody get up and pray him now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh.
as a man of God, as God's humble servant. I want you to hear me and hear me plain and hear me well and not only hear me but understand, perceive what I'm telling you. And may when you perceive it today, you remember it when you go home. And maybe when, when, you, when you remember it, may you have a, a constant recall that what I told you is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. The Lord spoke to me. Hear me and hear me well. Anybody that can hear my voice, whether you're in this building or whether you're out in the hallway, if you can hear me, here's what God spoke to me. He said, tell the people Tell the people. Some churches do it one way. Some preachers do it another way. Some do it a different way. But here's the way God told me to do it. God spoke to me and said, Tell every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl under the sound of your voice that every sin that you have ever committed has been forgiven today. You are free. You are free. You are free from your sins. You are free at last. You are free now. Somebody ought to clap your hand and shout. You ought to shout. Your name is written down in glory. Hallelujah. Your name is written in the book of life. You're a citizen of the world to come. Somebody clap your hand and tell God thank you. Hallelujah. And furthermore, furthermore, the Lord told me to tell you, every one of you, that the seven angels of God are going home with you today. The seven angels of God are going home with you today. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. The angel of peace is going home with you. The angel of mercy is going home with you. The angel, oh hallelujah. The angel of strength is going home with you. The angel of plenty is going home with you. I wish somebody could hear me now. The seven angels of God are going home with every one of you this afternoon. Somebody ought to clap your hand and give God the praise for it. Seven angels. Look at somebody say seven. Your attention, please. This is Jim Whittington, your radio and television pastor. And I'm holding in my hand a faith point of contact that has changed the life of thousands of people. The Lord spoke to me a long time ago and told me to write the name of the people on an anointed St. Paul prayer handkerchief like I've written my name on this one and to send it to the people with Bible instructions how to use it. I've helped so many and I, the testimonies come in daily from people that are receiving miracles, healing in their body, changes in their life. Their loved ones that's been on drugs is being delivered and, and financial blessings. Uh, one lady just called this week and said, and said I, I, since I got in touch with this ministry, everything is so much better in my life. Would you like to have a testimony like that? Well, you can by just picking up the phone and calling me right now and I will write your name. I personally will write your name on a prayer handkerchief, a St. Paul prayer handkerchief, and I'll send it to you with Bible instructions how to use it. 
This can be the turning point in your life. This can be what you've been waiting for. The devil's been throwing everything he could at you, and you, you just hadn't been happy here lately, and it feels like that everything is going backwards or wrong. Well, God can turn things around for you, and that's the reason you tuned into this telecast today. God wants me to help you. Pick up the telephone and call me right now, and I will write your name on a St. Paul prayer handkerchief and send it to you free of charge with Bible instructions instructions how to use it. All you have to do is call 404-907-3080. The operators are waiting for your call right now. So call and when you call, speak plainly and slowly to make sure that we get your name and address correctly because we want to help you. We've helped tens of thousands around the world and we want to help you. If you call within the next 15 minutes, I'm going to send you a copy of the CD that everybody's talking about. I made it. I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. I've been through suffering and pain, but I made it. I've been talked about. I've been criticized. Have you ever been talked about? Has anybody ever told a lie on you? But you made it. It's like when uh, Saul would be tormented by an evil spirit. He would call little David in there and say, David, bring your harp and play some music. And when David started playing that anointed music on that harp, it drove the devil out of the room and the tormenting spirit left King Saul. When you play this in your house, if there's an evil spirit in your house, it's going to drive the evil spirit out and peace is going to be present in your house. I can't wait for you to get this. I made it. People are shouting and talking about this. Everybody I've sent it to is just really enjoying it. You can be the next one. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. I've been preaching this gospel for over 50 years. I have helped tens of thousands around the world, and I can help you. We'll become prayer partners. The Bible said one can put a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight. When you and I join together, we're ten times stronger. I can help you. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. Or you can write to me and request your prayer handkerchief and your CD. And when you write to me, all the mailing address you need is Jim Whittington, Post Office Box 2300. That's Post Office Box 2300, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28402. I'm waiting to hear from you. Call me right now, 404-907-3080. Don't let this opportunity pass. Call me now, okay? Thanks for tuning in to World Deliverance with Reverend Jim Whittington. You can write him today at P.O. Box 2300, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28402. That's P.O. Box 2300, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28402. Join us for our next telecast, okay?